What are you doing? <laughs> He's discovered blowing raspberries to the fullest extent. guys it's Wednesday October 4th and it's almost noon I've been up since 10 10 30 ish we're actually probably gonna walk down to that park just right down the street just to get out even though my foot hurts right now like I got a blister on the back of my heel from work last night from walking around so much that kind of sucks I'm gonna have to put a uh, I have these blister pads like band-aid things that my mother-in-law gave me around the time I did the half marathon just in case I needed them. I never needed them, but I might need it now. I am much more energetic today than I was yesterday, although I have been drinking a double shot. And I'm surprised because I had such a terrible night sleeping. You okay? Did you sneeze? Bless you. Because I went to bed, well, I climbed into bed around 2.30, but I actually turned off my phone and quit looking at Facebook around three. And then I guess I kind of fell asleep and then I woke up around the time Eddie got up, which was around five. And actually I had to get out of bed a couple of times because I had to tell him something, he was in here, and I had to adjust the air because it was hot. So I went back to bed and even after he left, I tossed and I turned and I looked at the phone, it was like after six and I'm like, oh, Please tell me I'm going to get more sleep because I've only had a couple hours at this point. But I was like wide awake. And I was afraid he was going to wake up. But then I finally must have fell back asleep. And then I heard him saying, whoa, this morning. And it was like 10.14. So I felt pretty good. Way better than I felt yesterday. I got him in some pants. It's not really cold outside or even chilly. It's like 78. I figure, oh well. It's pants weather. If I'm wearing pants, he can wear pants. And Eddie's actually going to be home today around 1.30 because he, his job has a meeting. And whenever they have a meeting, apparently they have these monthly meetings. And he gets to go home at 1.30 on those days instead for some reason. Not sure why, but he does. So he'll be home then. And then I don't know what time they're going to go. So I got to ask him how they plan on going because he's been taking my car, but I need my car tonight and he can't take it over to drop Charlie off because I need my car. <laughs> I'm thinking unless his car is okay to drive, I don't know. Or his dad may come pick him up and they'll just take Charlie, drop him off and then go, I don't know. I haven't talked to him about it because it just hit me today. I was like, oh yeah, I need my car for tonight. We'll see. Anyway, back to drinking my double shot. I wish I got sponsored by double shot. <laughs> That would be awesome. So good. So we just came down to the little park that we usually do and the bench that's usually here is gone. I don't know if somebody took it or not. I don't know. Like did somebody steal the bench or did they take it away? It was a good bench. They've only had this park open for a couple of years. And there's a wet book down there. They still got the books up here. But... And then good, oh, there, oh ooh, there's a Dean Koontz book. All right, so I totally got this book out of there. It's Dean Koontz, I have not read this one. Velocity, he's one of my favorite authors. That is a take and give a library, like you can take it. And I've been meaning to actually put some of my old books that I never read anymore in there. Cause that's what it is. So pretty sweet, and when I get done with it, maybe I'll put it back. That's pretty cool. I'm still like befuddled about that bench though. Like who would take a bench? Unless the city took it for some reason, but it was in good condition. I don't know why they would move it. Weird. Or at least, I feel like if the city did that, they'd put a sign there that says, you know, whatever. But, <sighs> figures. Can't have anything nice around here. Can we? Anyway, it's about 1 o'clock. Eddie's actually be off work soon, so we, I don't know if we'll still be down here by then. But maybe. If we are, he can just pick us up <laughs> and take us back. Huh. Alright, we've made it back. It, it was really humid out there. Like, 
It's only, it's probably going on 80, but it's just humid. This one is sweating like crazy. Like, you can just see it. Like I saw it dripping down his neck and I'm like, oh. So yeah, he's down in his water now. Probably get me some water too. What are you doing? He's discovered blowing raspberries to the, the fullest extent. Really? So they're about to leave and go over to Grandma's and then I'm going to clean our bathroom because it needs attending to and since he won't be here, he won't be getting in my way. Dude, don't burst the blood vessel. It's okay. It's okay. What do you want? You got your Play-Doh? I'm letting him play with Play-Doh. What do you got there? What is that? Is that Play-Doh? Make a face or go squishy. Squishy. What are you making? Make a dinosaur. Make a dog. Make the letter A. Hola, people. So, Eddie and Charlie have been gone for a while now. I've been cleaning the bathroom like crazy. It's just one of those times it got out of control a little bit. And I'm like, okay. The, well, one reason I haven't been cleaning it, it's because I knew I was going to have to use, like, sprays and, and stuff that really need to clean. And Charlie was always here. And either I'd have to have Eddie, like, keep him out and, and go in there. And I meant to do that one day. And... I don't know what happened the day got away from me as soon as i heard they were both leaving and i would have some time before work i was like i'm cleaning this so i've been spraying like this lysol like mildew remover and stuff because there's a little bit of mildew in there yeah and uh i think i think i might have sprayed a little too much though it's like making i open the window and i'm like Ugh. so anyway now i'm running down to dollar general because i want to buy a new toothpaste uh toothbrush holder because the one I have, I've had it for several years, and I was looking at the bottom of it, and it's gunky. Like, it, you put your toothbrush and stuff down in there, and it's like, and you can't really get in there to clean it. And Eddie's mentioned that he doesn't really like it anyway. So I'm going to go buy a new one from Dollar General. I know they have them, and probably a new toothbrush for me and Charlie if they have those there. And my battery's dying. Woo woo! Alright, so Dollar General failed me. They did not have toothbrush holders but I did buy me a new toothbrush because I did need one and I bought like a little bit of food to eat before dinner I mean before work a little bit of dinner before work yeah but I was very like disappointed I thought I'd seen them there before but I don't know I asked and she's like well if we do have them they're over there by the shampoo and stuff okay they were not so I'll probably just have to get one from Target or something until then Probably be putting our toothbrush in a cup or something. Like the good old days. I also realized that I missed a great opportunity. Eddie could have took the camera with him and vlogged because he's going to meet Dan Brown, author of Angels and Demons and The Da Vinci Code. And he's getting a book signed and everything. And I was like, oh, why didn't I think he could have taken the camera with him? Totally forgot about it. So we'll just have to hear all about it later. But him and his dad are going. They're super excited. Probably meeting him right now as we speak. And now it's time for some din din. I got these, um, they're little chicken and cheese quesadilla, like many things you just pop in the microwave. They're so good. I haven't had them in forever. You can get them at Dollar General. Look at that. Mmm, good. Ow, ow, ow. It's hot. Alright, so I'm almost gonna go to leave for work in about mm, 15, 20 minutes. So I got most of the bathroom clean. I didn't get all of it like I wanted. Kind of ran out of time. But I'm going to try my best to finish it up tomorrow. Mainly it's like organizing up in there. It's not too bad. And then below the sink. Like work on the floors a little bit better. Floors. The floor. It's one tiny little floor. But something we noticed about our bathtub. That really kind of sucks. Because I had to clean 
some stuff off this wall right here. Like, they started getting some mildew or whatever. So I cleaned it. But the thing about this wall, we noticed, is they painted over it. Like, when you scrub it, flecks of paint come off. And I'm like, what? I didn't know. I mean, I knew, I saw the flecks of paint, but it, I didn't realize what it was until Eddie came in and he started scrubbing it the other day. And he was like, they painted over this instead of like, I don't know. But yeah, so this wall right here, it's so like it moves too. I hate that. This wall is always good, but no water gets on that wall. I need to get a new shower curtain. <laughs> My mother-in-law gave me this one just when we moved in because I couldn't find ours. We had two. One was a St. Louis Cardinals and the other was like a cityscape. And I think they're packed away somewhere. And she loaned us this one and I just never have gotten another one. Actually, I think that's just a liner. <laughs> but I actually might go get one tomorrow because I'm going to be going to Target either tomorrow or Friday. I'm going to go and because I'm going to get a toothbrush holder. See, I got our... Uh, toothbrushes in a cup and by the way you never know how much you needed a new toothbrush until you get a new toothbrush <laughs> let me just say that <laughs> so tomorrow or Friday I may get a new shower curtain because I'm tired of looking at this beige nothingness it's boring I like to have a little spunk a little color if you will bathroom's done I'll be leaving in a few minutes. I don't know what time Eddie's going to get home. I'm not even sure exactly what time the signing was. I think it was 6 or 7. And it's just now about 7.40. I'm home. Uh, I've been home for a little bit. There's like a gnat in here or something. Anyway. Long story of how I had to get in the house tonight. But I'm too tired to heal it now. So I'll tell you guys about it tomorrow. <laughs> anyway. I'll see you guys then. Oh, by the way, Charlie's sleeping over at Grandma and Grandpa's. So he's not here. Okay, now I'll see you guys tomorrow.